we are hearing Srimad Bhagavatam. Now, Shukadev Goswami, before speaking, he is offering many prayers to Supreme Lord. We were hearing very beautiful prayers. He said, May Supreme Personality of Godhead be pleased to decorate my statements. Supreme Lord can speak Harikata. By His grace, devotee gets that and he speaks and Krishna hears also. Namastasmai Bhagavate Vasudevaya Vedase Papur Gyanam Ayam Soumya Yan Mukam Buru Ha Savam I offer my respectful obeisances unto Srila Vyasadev. The incarnation of Vasudev means Krishna who compiled the Vedic scriptures. The pure devotees drink up the nectarian transcendental knowledge dropping from the lotus-like mouth of the Lord. Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan, we have to pray their grace before speaking Harikata. So, Supreme Lord and also his Gurudev, Vyasadev, who is Shakti Abhesh Avatar of Krishna. Etat evatma bhu rajam naradaya viprichate veda garbo bhyadhat shakshat yat aha harir atmana. My dear king, now he is speaking Harikata. After first doing Mangala Charana, now he is speaking. My dear king, Brahma, the first born, on being questioned by Narad, exactly apprised him on this subject as it was directly spoken by the Lord to his own son, who was impregnated with Vedic knowledge from his very birth. That means Brahma is the son. That is why some say that Jesus is like Brahma avatar, because son of God. Some say like that. And also because as we were hearing, uh, there is some similarity between Lila of Horida Stakur. He was beaten and he prayed, you please forgive them. And Jesus also prayed. And Horida Stakur is avatar of Brahma. Because when he stole the cows and calves of Krishna, then he was regretting very much that offense. So, in Gaur Lila means he was worshipping in Navadip before Mahaprabhu appeared. So he prayed to, to Mahaprabhu, you please give me such low birth that I will not be proud, that I'm creator, I'm very big, I committed that offense. This is one. And uh, another reason is because of course, Brahma is our guru. He is playing the pastime only of stealing cows and to teach by example many things Brahma is teaching. And uh, Haridas Thakur, also it is said that because Brahma committed that uh, like cruelty or some misbehavior towards cows and cowherd boys that he had to take birth as because of that sin in Muslim family. They are not respecting cows. They are killing. So some explain like that also. But the point is Brahma is first born at the beginning of creation and he could not know anything. Then Krishna impregnated him with the knowledge by which he could create and also manifest Vedas and all this.
This is the end of this chapter. Next chapter, five. The cause of all causes. Narada Uvach. Deva, Deva Namas Tetstu. Bhuta Bhavana Purvaja. Tat Vijani Yach Gyanam. Atma Tatva Nidarshanam. Shri Narad Muni asked Brahmaji, O chief amongst the demigods, O first born living entity, I beg to offer my respectful obeisances unto you. Please tell me that transcendental knowledge which specifically directs one to the truth of the individual soul and the super soul, that is Atma Tattva. Atma is both Jivatma and Paramatma. What is Atma Tattva? So, this is the way how one should approach Guru with surrender and honest inquiry and service. Then it is possible to receive that. Yat rupam yat adishtanam yatah shrishtam idam prabho yat samstam yat param yatcha tat tatvam vada tattvataha. My dear father, please describe factually the symptoms of this manifest world. What is its background? How is it created? How is it conserved? And under whose control is all this being done? Sarvam hietat bhavan veda bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhu karamalaka vat vishvam vigyana vasitam tava. My dear father, all this is known to you scientifically because whatever was created in the past, whatever will be created in the future, or whatever is being created at present, as well as everything within the universe is within your grip, just like a walnut. Yat Vigyano Yat Adharo Yat Parastvam Yat Atmakah Ekah Srijasi Bhutani Buter Evatma Maya. My dear father, what is the source of your knowledge? Under whose protection are you standing? And under whom are you working? What is your real position? Do you alone create all entities with the material with material elements by your personal energy? Atman bhavaya setani na para bhavayan swayam. Atma shakti avashta bya pur nanabir iva klama. As the spider very easily creates the network of its cob web and manifests its power of creation without being defeated by others, so also you, yourself, by employment of your self-sufficient energy, create without any other's help. Naham veda param hyasmin naparam nasamam vibho Nama rupa gunair bhavyam sat asat kinchit anyataha. Whatever we can understand by the nomenclature, characteristics and features of a particular thing, nomenclature means name, particular thing, superior, inferior or equal, eternal or temporary, is not created from any source other than that of your lordship. 
do so great. Sabhavam acharad ghoram yatapah susamahita tena kedaya senastvam parashankam cha yachasi. Yet we are moved to wonder about the existence of someone more powerful than you when we think of your great austerities in perfect discipline, although your good self is so powerful in the matter of creation. Once one Western person, he came to India and they are worshipping so many like objects of worship. So he wanted to know who is actually God. So he saw Brahma, some worshipping Brahma, with four heads. He was always uh, very attentive to administer this universe. Some were worshipping Shiva. So he saw Shiva. Shiva is always meditating on someone or something, always meditating. And Kali, some are worshipping also. She was very busy destroying those demons, demonic qualities. And the others he went to see. Then finally he saw Krishna with flute. Then he understood he is God. He has nothing to do. He is only playing. He must be God. Others all are engaged in some work or thinking of someone or like, like this. So they cannot be Supreme Person. He is Supreme Person because he has nothing to do, only playing. So like that here, not, then it was confirmed, he is God. So here, Narad also is seeing Brahma is doing austerities and discipline. So there must be some someone superior uh, whom he is worshipping and all this. Etaname prichatah sarvam sarva gya sakaleshvara Vijanihi yatai vedam aham budye nu shasita. My dear father, you know everything and you are the controller of all. Therefore, may all that I have inquired from you be kindly instructed to me so that I may be able to understand it as your student. Here also our Gurudev told you, see Shukadev Goswami, he is also not speaking from his own mind, something. He is speaking what uh, he heard that Narad was inquiring from Brahma and what Brahma spoke what previous charges that Harikata he is remembering and speaking that. Brahma Vach Samyak Karuni Kasyedam Vatsa Te Vichikitsitam Yad Aham Choditah Somya Bhagavat Virya Darshane Lord Brahma said my dear boy Narat, being merciful to all, including me, you have asked all these questions because I have been inspired to see into the prowess of the almighty personality of Godhead. Brahma is realized so he was inspired that the realization came. He could see the how Supreme Lord is doing everything. So realize, so we have to approach. He can tell. 
And Brahma is also uh, admitting, I got it from Supreme Lord. And Narat will admit, I got it from Brahma. And Vyasa will admit, I got it from Narat, like this. This is the disciplic succession. If there is any false ego, then one cannot have that real knowledge, truth. Nanritam tavata chapi yatha mam pra bravishi bho avigyaya paramata etavatvam yato hime. Whatever you have spoken about me is not false because unless and until one is aware of the personality of Godhead, who is the ultimate truth beyond me, one is sure to be illusioned by observing my powerful activities. Yena sva rochisha vishva rochitam rochayam yaham yatarko gnir yata somo yata yatarksha graha tarakaha. I create after the Lord's creation by his personal effulgence, known as the Brahma Jyoti. Just as when the sun manifests its fire, the moon, the firmament, the influential planets and the twinkling stars also manifest their brightness. But they're all dependent on sun. So like that, my creation is after his creation. Tasmei namo bhagavate vasudevaya dhimahi yan maya durjayaya mam vadanti jagat gurum. I offer my obeisances and meditate upon Lord Krishna, Vasudev, the personality of Godhead, whose invincible potency influences them, the less intelligent class of men, to call me the Supreme Controller. Those who are under the influence of Krishna's Maya they will think Brahma is supreme. They will worship him as supreme, like also Hiranyakashipu also thought like that. It is all by Krishna's Maya. So Brahma is offering prayer, uh, obeisances to Krishna. Vilaja manaya yasya statu ikshapate muya vimohita Vikatante mamaham iti durdhiya. The illusory energy of the Lord cannot take precedence, being ashamed of her position. But those who are bewildered by her always talk nonsense, being absorbed in thoughts of it is I and it is mine. Vikatante. They talk nonsense. Why? Because they, are not, they cannot speak the actual truth. They are under the influence of Maya, so their sense perception only, they are saying something, but that is nonsense, because they are not speaking the whole truth. How everything is pervaded by Krishna, controlled by Krishna, from whom jivas get power, all this they, they cannot see. So what they say is all nonsense. But in front of Krishna, Maya cannot take precedence, cannot have any power there. Like in front of sun, darkness cannot remain. Krishna is all existence, all knowledge, all bliss, Satchidananda. So those who take shelter of him, they can cross over this 
Maya, no one else. So she is surrendered to Krishna, but those who are averse to her, they are, means averse to Krishna, they are under the influence of Maya and they speak nonsense. I am, I am Slovenian, I am American, I am man, I am woman, I am all this we are saying, that is all nonsense. And this is my house. This is my daughter. This is my car. All this is nonsense. Not true. Nothing is ours in reality. So we cannot enjoy and also we cannot renounce. But under the influence of my illusion, we, we try to do this and we cannot be happy. Dravyam karma cha kalash cha svabhavo jiva eva cha vasudevat paro brahman nachanyor tosti tattva taha The five elementary ingredients of creation the interaction thereof set up by eternal time and the intuition of or, or nature of the individual living beings are all differentiated parts and parcels of the personality of Godhead, Vasudev, and in truth, there is no other value in them. So all material elements, karma, time, and the jiva, they're all uh, dependent on Supreme God. Independent, they, they are actually, they have no value. They are his differentiated parts and parcels, his potency. So because of their, their being related to Krishna, that is their value. But other, otherwise there is no other value in them, separate, independent. Narayana Paraveda Deva Narayana Narayana Gaja Narayana Paraloka Narayana Paramakha The Vedic literatures are made by and are meant for the Supreme Lord. The demigods are also meant for serving the Lord as parts of his body. The different planets are also meant for the sake of the Lord and different sacrifices are performed just to please Him. So, Narayana Paranveda and Deva Paraloka. All is for Him. Absolute is by Himself and for Himself. Narayana Paro Yoga, Narayana Param Tapa, Narayana Param Gyanam, Narayana Paragati. All different types of meditation or mysticism are meant for realizing Narayan. All austerities are aimed at achieving Narayan. Culture of transcendental knowledge is for getting a glimpse of Narayan and ultimately salvation is entering the kingdom of Narayan. Narayana Paragati, his supreme goal, destination. Tasyapi drashtur ishasya kutastasya kilatmana srijam srijami shrishtoham Iksha yeva bi choditaha. Inspired by Him only, H capital means Krishna, Naren, I discover what is already created by Him, Naren, under His vision, 
as the all-pervading super soul, and I also am created by him only. So Brahma is admitting that he is not actually created, but is simply inspired by the Lord Narayan. And creates under his superintendence those things which, uh, which already are created by him. Sattvam Raja Stamaiti Nirgunasya Gunastraya Stiti Sarga Nirodheshu Grihita Maya Vibho. The Supreme Lord is pure spiritual form, transcendental to all material qualities, yet for the sake of the creation of the material world and its maintenance and annihilation, he accepts through his external energy the material modes of nature called goodness, passion and ignorance. Karjo karana kartri tve drabya jnana kriyashreya badnanti nitya mukta mainam purusham guna. These three modes of material nature being further manifested as matter, knowledge and activities, put the eternally transcendent living entity under conditions of cause and effect and make him responsible for such activities. Here, Srila Sai Maharaj is giving in purpose because they are between the internal and external potencies. The eternally transcendent living entities are called the marginal potency of the Lord. In between, they are not internal potency. They are not coming from internal potency, they are marginal potency in between. Factually, the living entities are not meant to be so conditioned by material energy, but due to their being affected by the false sense of lording it over the material energy, they come under the influence of such potency and thus become conditioned by the three modes of material nature. Means when they don't want to serve Krishna, that is misuse of their relative independence, their relative free will, they want to lord it over material energy, they have that desire. So that offense they are committing on marginal plane. And the, this external energy of the Lord covers up the pure knowledge of the living entities eternally existing with him. But the covering is so constant that it appears that the conditioned soul is externally ignorant. Such is the wonderful action of Maya or external energy manifested as if materially produced. By the covering power of the material energy, the material scientist cannot look beyond the material causes. But factually, behind the material manifestations, there are Adibhuta, Adhyatma and Adideva actions, which the conditioned soul in the mode of ignorance cannot see. This is also explained in Gita. So, you see, marginal potency in between. And they are conscious being, transcendental. They are not composed of matter, they are transcendental. But they may misuse their relative independence. One second, I will be back a few seconds. Thank you. 
because we are eternal servants of Krishna coming out of his marginal potency, we belong to him. So we are his eternal servants. If we don't serve him, that is offense. That offense uh, then binds up in this world. So the only way to come out from this influence of Maya is to accept the service of Krishna, then you can come. Sa Esha Bhagava Lingais Tribhir Eter Adokshaja Svalakshita Gatir Brahman Sarvesha Mama Cheshwara. O Brahmana Narad, the super seer, the transcendent Lord is beyond the perception of the material senses of the living entities because of the above mentioned three modes of nature. But he is the controller of everyone, including me. These senses are non-eternal. Krishna is eternal. How non-eternal can perceive eternal? It's impossible. Like you have certain resolution which you are unable to see or certain sound you are unable to hear because that frequency is there or some light is there which with this eye you cannot see but it is there. So like that with non-eternal senses and non-eternal mind intelligence for Sigo, you cannot perceive Supreme Lord. You can perceive him only by his grace with your eternal eyes. They are awakened by his grace. Those who will surrender, they can see. Kalam karma svabhavam cha mayesho maya svaya atman yantrichaya praptam vi bu bushur upadate upadade. The Lord, who is the controller of all energies, thus creates by his own potency eternal time, the fate of all living entities means he is giving the fruit of action and their particular nature that is also according to their action they are getting from him for which they were created and he again merges them independently because they are in Vedanta Sutra this is there that how you say Brahma is here Brahma means Supreme Lord, Brahman he is creator of this universe so we see some people are suffering some are enjoying some are having low birth some are having high like demigod some are suffering so creator must be partial and cruel because he is creator here also we see he creates the fate of all living entities but there it is explained giving all evidences from all shastra that it means that krishna is giving the fruit of their action without him giving the fruit they cannot get so he's and also according to their nature which they themselves acquire by certain actions he will uh, raise them and he will degrade them. Again, means jivas cannot independently work, but that does not mean independent of Supreme Lord, but that does not mean that they are like dolls in the hand of Krishna, he's just moving, no. He's giving the fruits of their actions. So certain samskaras and everything, we, by our own actions, we 
deserved like that. Krishna gave. So nothing is happening independently of him. That is the meaning. So according to our karma in previous creation, uh, previous life, we get certain nature and certain fruits in this life. And also in the beginning of creation, when Brahma comes out, and then also other jivas, they're also created in accordance with their karma from previous creation, previous cycle. It is not that that is the beginning, no. That creation is onadi, that jiva is onadi, beginningless. Karma is also beginningless. All three you will find in Vedanta Sutra, all three are beginningless. So it is not that Krishna uh, forced someone into certain position. No. He is only giving the fruit of your action. So those jivas who from marginal potency or position, they wanted to enjoy Maya, that was their offense or starting point. But that starting point is not within material time, it is above material time. But that, that is triggered. So Krishna gives them the fruit of that desire, they are enveloped by Maya. But it is not that Krishna put us in Maya. It is due to our own misuse of relative independence. And then, according to our actions, we are getting results in this world and continuously it is going on. He is never guilty of any our suffering or any this thing. No. It is, he is only giving the fruit. So when they are created, when jivas they are inside Mahavishnu during universal dissolution, they are sleeping. They are like in seed form. And when new creation comes, from that seed tree is coming to manifest that. And again, when dissolution will come, again it will go into seed. So what came first, the seed or the tree? What came first, seed or tree? Nothing came first. They're beginningless, that cycle in this world. But from that marginal potency that was triggered to enter. Kalad guna vyatikara parinama svabhavataha karmano janma mahata purusha di shtitat abhut. After the incarnation of the first purusha, that is Karanarna Vashai Vishnu, the Mahatattva or the principles of material creation take place. And then time is manifested, and in course of time, the three qualities appear, trigunas. Nature means the three qualitative appearances, they transform into activities, Satya Guna, Raja Guna, Tamaguna activities. Mahatas tu Vikurvanat Raja Satvo Pabrim Hitat Tamah Pradanas Tvabhavat Dravya Gyana Kriyatmaka. Material activities are caused by the Mahatattvas being agitated when the new creation will have to start. 
or from seed the tree will come. According to the seed, what we did in previous creation, that is seed, so according to that, the particular tree will come. Krishna is only giving the rain uh, so that that can sprout. At first, there is transformation of the modes of goodness and passion. And later, due to the mode of ignorance, matter, its knowledge and different activities of material knowledge come into play. So this is the process of creation. Material scientists, they cannot know this by their senses. They are only on the surface, they are trying to understand something, how this is going on, but they cannot know actually. Because they have no transcendental knowledge, no transcendental realization to see about Supreme Lord, his involvement, and also Jiva's, that eternal Atma's involvement. These two, they cannot see. And Mahatato also ingredients, that is when everything is in tranquility, not active and then it is activated. So these things they cannot know. Uh, how long they may try to research by their observation and experiment, they are unable to come to actual truth. Because truth is self-effulgent. You cannot grasp with material senses, intelligence, all these non-eternal things, you cannot. Only when you submit to bona fide guru who has realization of Supreme Lord, and you practice according to his instructions, and when Gurudev gives his mercy and Krishna gives mercy, then by their mercy you can get that transcendental vision realization, then you can understand, otherwise not. And then you will be peaceful, otherwise you cannot be peaceful, always disturbed. Without spiritual realization, one cannot be happy and peaceful. So hankara iti prokto vikurvam samabhutridha vaikarika steja sascha tama sascheti yat bhida dravya shakti kriya shaktir jnana shaktir iti prabho. The self-centered materialistic ego thus being transformed into three features becomes known as the modes of goodness, passion and ignorance in three divisions. Namely, the powers that evolve matter, knowledge of material creations, and the intelligence that guides such materialistic activities. Narada, you are quite competent to understand this. Three egos, Satik, Rajasik, Tamasik. Mm. Here Sai Maharaja is explaining. Hmm. He's speaking about how impersonalists also, they cannot understand this point. They also don't have actual knowledge. Though they are reading Vedic Shastra, but because of not being surrendered to bona fide Guru and Krishna, they are unable to see properly how this creation takes place. 
tamasat api bhutader vikurvanat abhun nabha tasya matra gunakshabdo lingam yat drashtri drishayo. From the darkness of Olsigo, the first of the five elements, namely the sky, is generated or ether. Sky and ether are the same. Our Gurudev used to utter this word, earth, water, fire, air, sky. Its subtle form is the quality of sound exactly as the seer is in relationship with the sin. Quality of it is sound. Then further it goes. Nabhaso tha vikurvanat abhut sparsha guno nila paran vaya cha pedda vamscha prana ojah saho balam vayor api vikurvanat Kala karma svabhavataha udapadhyata tejove rupavat sparsha shabdavat tejasas tu vikurvanat asit ambo rasatmakam rupavat sparshavat chambo goshavat cha paranvayat visheshas tu vikurvanat ambhaso gandavan abhut Paran vayat rasa sparsha shabda rupa gunanvitaha. <clears throat> Anil is air, vayu. Because the sky is transformed, the air, that is Anil, the air is generated with the quality of touch. And by previous succession, the air is also full of sound and the basic principles of duration of life. Sense, perception, mental power and bodily strength. When the air is transformed in course of time and nature's course, Fire is generated from air. From ether comes air, and from air comes fire, taking shape with the sense of touch and sound. Since fire is also transformed, there is a manifestation of water full of juice and taste. As previously, it also has form and touch and is also full of sound. And water being transformed from all variegatedness on earth appears odorous, means smell is coming, and as previously becomes qualitatively full of juice touch, sound and form respectively. In earth, all elements are, pre all these uh, qualities are present. That is why also in Rasa Tattva, this example is given. In Madhurja Rasa, all other qualities of all other Rasas are also present. Like in earth, all are there. So in, sky ether there is sound and from ether comes air <coughs> with touch. Then from air comes fire which is uh, quality is rup means form. From fire comes water which is having the quality of rasa, taste. And from water comes earth, which its quality is a fragrance on that ganda, fragrance. 
So all this, they are coming in this succession. And later on, when we will hear about this solution, they will also go in this succession backwards. Vaikarikan mano jagye deva vaikarikan dosha dik vatarka prachetoshvi vahnin dropendra mitra kah. From the mode of goodness, the mind is generated and becomes manifest, as also the ten demigods controlling the bodily movements. They are controlling the senses, demigods. You will find yes, such demigods are known as the controller of directions, the controller of air, the sun god, the father of Daksha Prajapati, the Ashwini Kumaras, the fire god, the king of heaven, that is Indra, the worshipable deity in heaven, the chief of the Adityas, and Brahmaji, the Prajapati, all come into existence. Yes, tomorrow it is the disappearance day of our Guru. So we will hear about him. And then further we will hear about how this creation happens.